I'm not going to use any music for this practice. You can go ahead and turn on your own music, um, whatever you want to listen to as background music. And we're going to go ahead and get started in child's pose today. So come down on your knees. You can bring your big toes to touch, spreading your knees out wide, stretching your arms in front of you, reaching out long here, placing your forehead against the mat. Really reaching as far as you can, walking those fingertips out as much as possible. Sitting back, sending your glutes back, your glutes back towards your heels, getting the most of the stretch here. And we're just going to take a few minutes breathing here, relaxing into the stretch. If you'd like to set an intention for your practice, I'd invite you to do that now. If you'd like to dedicate your practice to someone, you're welcome to do that as well. And then just focus on your breath, relaxing. And take another breath here and then slowly we'll start to walk our fingertips over towards the right as far as they can go, maybe even off our mat here, and sit that left glute back towards the heel so you can really feel a side stretch here. Breathing into the side body. Maybe trying to walk your fingers a little bit farther towards the right, sitting that left glute a little bit back, a little bit farther towards the heel. Breathing into that side stretch. And then slowly walking our fingertips back towards the middle of the mat. Back to center, coming to child's pose, using our fingers to grip the mat, pulling ourselves a little bit deeper into child's pose. And then slowly begin walking our fingers over towards the left. Maybe off the mat. Sitting that right glute back towards the heel. Feeling that stretch in the right side body. Breathing into the stretch here. Taking a few breaths and then maybe walking our hands a little bit further to the left, extending the stretch even more here. Sitting that right glute back towards the heel as much as you can. Very slowly bringing our hands back towards center, using our fingertips to grip the mat to pull our body out as long as we can in this child's pose here. And leaving our hands where they are, we're going to start uh, lifting up so that our hips are stacked above our knees, coming into almost a tabletop position, but then we're going to slowly start walking our hands forward, coming into that puppy pose, making sure that our knees are still aligned underneath our hips here, either bringing our chin or our forehead towards the ground, walking our fingertips out as far as we can. Maybe try it both ways. Try it with your chin towards the ground and your forehead and see which 
one gives you a stretch that you like more? And slowly we'll begin walking our hands back. We're going to sit back on the heels once again, coming into child pose. We'll take an inhale here, and as we exhale, we're going to draw ourselves up through tabletop position, coming into cat, pulling that belly button into the spine, arching the back as much as we can, bringing our chin into our chest. And then slowly on our inhale, we'll drop the belly, raising the sternum, lifting the throat, coming into cow. And sit back on the heels to child's pose. Taking an inhale here, using that exhale to draw ourselves up to that cat position, really over exaggerating the motions here. Inhaling to cow and sitting back on the heels to child's pose. And go ahead and take a few more flows like this with your own breath. As fast or as slow as feels good to your body here. Over exaggerating the motions, getting the most out of it. Such a good stretch for low back pain. as fast or as slow as feels good to your body. And the next time we come down to child's pose, we'll hold it. Sitting back in the heels. Extending the arms out long. We'll take an inhale and we'll exhale, bringing ourselves up to tabletop position here. <clears throat> And we'll check our alignment here in table, making sure our wrists are below our shoulders, our knees are below our hips, our belly button is pulled into our spine, and our back is long and flat from the crown of our head to our sit bone. Pressing into the hands firmly to press our bodies up, making sure that we're not sinking into this pose. And we are going to sit up onto the heels. I'm going to turn sideways so I can see what you, so you can see what I'm doing. We're going to sit up on the knees, lifting our bodies up here, and we're going to extend that right leg out to the side. Inhale, we're going to lift up here, and as we exhale, we're going to let that right leg travel down our, or let that right hand travel down our right leg. As we extend over, bringing that left arm over our ear, extending out through those left fingertips, really getting the most of that stretch. And we're gonna lift ourselves up, cartwheeling our left arm down to the ground here. If you have a block or something that you'd like to use, you're welcome to. And then we're gonna bring that right arm up and over our head, getting a long, nice long line, nice long side stretch here as we reach out through those right fingertips. And we're gonna cartwheel our arms up, coming through center, once again, letting that right arm or that right hand travel down our right leg, left arm up and over. Make sure you're keeping your chest open and lifted, reaching out and extending through those left fingertips here. Coming back up, letting that left hand place down on the ground or blocks. Reaching up and over with that those right fingertips. Mm. Extending long through those right fingertips, reaching that arm, keeping the chest open and lifted. And we'll inhale ourselves back up to center, bring the hands to prayer as we bring that right leg in. We'll extend that left leg out long. Arms will reach up, we'll reach that left hand down the left leg as we bend over that um, 
towards the left, extending those right fingertips out long, keeping the chest open and lifted here. And inhale through center, dropping that right hand down to the ground or to blocks. Um, that left arm travels up and over your ear, opening and lifting the chest. Extending through those left fingertips. Right arm comes back down as we lift the, I'm sorry, the left arm comes back down as we lift the right arm up and over our ear one more time. Extending through those right fingertips. Making our body as long as possible. Making sure not to collapse here. Keeping yourself strong. And once more. We'll bring that right hand down to the ground as we extend over with the left arm. We're reaching up over our ear. Keeping ourselves nice and lifted here. Inhale back up to center. Hands will come down to prayer as our knees place. And we're going to bring our hands back down, coming into tabletop pose once again. Checking our alignment here, making sure that our wrists are below our shoulders, our knees are below our hips, belly button is pulled into spine, the crown of our head is long, uh, our tail, one long straight line from the crown of our head to our tailbone. Coming into tabletop position here, we're going to extend that left leg, lift the right arm up, and very slowly we're going to begin lifting those left toes up off the ground. Once again, making sure that belly button is pulled into spine, protecting our lower back here. And we'll slowly bring the right toes to touch, or sorry, the left toes to touch the ground, or the right hand to touch the ground, and back up. Slowly bring the hand down to touch the ground, the toes, and back up. Slowly down to touch the ground, and extend back up. Down to the ground. And back up and we'll replace the right hand replace the left knee come up on the right toes extending that left arm lifting up the right toes here protecting our lower back by keeping our abs squeezed in tight lower the toe lower the hand and lift back up lowering the toe lowering the hand and lifting back up lowering the toe lowering the hand and lifting back up once more, lowering to the ground, lifting back up. We'll bring the hand down, and we'll bring the knee down, coming up on the left toes once again, extending that right arm, and slowly we'll begin bringing them up. And we'll bring the right arm out to the side as we bring the left leg out to the side, and back to center. To the side, and back to center. And make sure your back isn't arching here, that belly button is pulled in, protecting that low back. And we'll do one more and then we'll replace the hand replace the knee come up on the right toes come up on the left fingertips extend up left arm goes to the left right leg goes to the right and back to center to the side and back to center to the side center once more to the side and we'll replace the hand, replace the knee. We're going to kick that left foot up so that it comes at a 90 degree bend. We're going to extend that right arm and we're going to bring that right hand back towards that left foot, grabbing arms to the left ankle if it's available to us, coming into a bind, kicking up through that left heel. If it's not available, you can just extend and reach back. If you can't touch your ankle, that's okay. And slowly release. And replace the knee, replace the hand. Uh, bring that right knee up above the ground at a 90 degree angle. Extend that left arm in front of you and then bring it back. And if this is as far as you can do, that's fine. If you are able to break the ankle, that's great. And kick. Kick that uh, foot up towards the ceiling as you reach back to grab that ankle to bind. And 
and release yourself down. And we'll sit down on the heels, coming into child's pose here. Taking a breath here, extending the arms out long, breathing into the stretch. Pressing into the hands, we'll take an inhale and as we exhale, we'll use our breath to draw ourselves up into tabletop position. Taking a moment once again to check our alignment here, making sure that our wrists are below our shoulders, our knees are below our hips, our belly button is pulled into our spine, and our back is long and flat. And we're going to step that right knee forward, coming into a modified low lunge here, keeping that left knee down on the ground. You can bring your hands to your thigh to bring yourself up to that low lunge position. Arms will reach up. We'll bring our hands to prayer and we're going to twist over to the left, hooking that left elbow outside of the right thigh here, making sure that we're keeping our bodies nice and lifted, that we're not collapsing into the pose, pressing into our hands, pressing that. Um, Pressing that elbow into the leg. If you want a little bit more, you can open the arms here, extending that right arm up to the side, to the sky, the left arm down to the floor, or you're welcome to stay in prayer twist. And if you open your hands, go ahead and bring them back to prayer. We'll center ourselves, coming back. So our torso is straight up and down. Arms will reach up. We're going to bend forward into this hip, going into a hip flexor stretch here, dipping our hips forward. At the same time, we're going to pull our belly button into our spine and start lifting our sternum towards the sky, coming into a low back bend. And we'll cactus our arms here, pulling our shoulder blades together and coming into a cactus back. Arms will reach up as our hips come back to center here. We'll place our hands down on the ground and we'll slowly start to heel to or start to move that right leg out forward coming into half split here. Moving that right leg as far as is comfortable for us. If you have blocks, you're welcome to use them or you can always stack books if you're having trouble. And we're going to inhale to extend our backs out long and exhale, draw our nose a little closer to our knee, making sure that we're flexing that right foot here. Inhale to find length in your spine, exhale to draw your nose a little closer to your knee. And continue using the breath to deepen the stretch. Feeling that stretch in the hamstring here. Good stretch for runners. If it's in your practice, you're welcome to go a little further. If you'd like to go into a full split, to deepen that half split, that's up to you. Otherwise, continue breathing into the stretch. Inhaling to find length in your spine, exhaling to draw your nose a little closer to your knee. And very slowly you'll begin lifting yourself back up and you'll begin Bringing that right foot back, coming into low lunge once again. And replacing that knee, coming into tabletop position. And we'll step the left foot forward, coming into a modified low lunge on the other side here. 
Hands can come up to the knee as we draw ourselves up. And our arms will reach up, taking an inhale, exhaling, bringing our hands to prayer here. And we're going to twist over to the left, hooking that right elbow outside of the left leg. Pressing into the hands, pressing that arm in towards the thigh, using it to make sure we're keeping ourselves nice and lifted, making sure we're not collapsing into the pose. Pressing as much as we can, keeping this pose nice and strong here. If you'd like to take it a little further, you're welcome to open your arms, extending that left butt, that left arm up towards the sky, that right arm down towards the mat. If your hands are open, go ahead and bring them back to prayer twist. We'll center ourselves here, bringing our torso back straight up and down. We'll reach the arms up. We'll start dipping, tilting the hips forward, coming into a hip flexor stretch here. As we raise our arms up high, pulling our belly button into our spine, we'll start bringing our sternum up towards the ceiling, coming into a back bend. And we'll begin cactusing the arms, squeezing the shoulder blades together, coming into cactus back bend in addition to this hip flexor stretch here. And reaching back up, we'll center ourselves here. Hands will come down to frame the foot. And slowly we'll start scooching that left foot forward Coming into half split on this side, um, flexing that left foot, toes are pointed up towards the ceiling. We'll take an inhale to find length in our spine and exhale, draw our nose a little closer to our knee. And continue with your breath, lengthening your body on the inhale, exhale, enjoying yourself deeper into the stretch. And we'll take a few breaths here, deepening the stretch as much as possible. And just like on the other side, if it's in your practice, you're welcome to go into a full split here. And if it's not, just continue bringing your nose as close to that knee as you can, deepening into the stretch where it is. Hopefully you all have some background music on right now. If not, I'd recommend you turn some on. <laughs> Taking a few more breaths here, getting that nose as close to the knee as you can. Feeling that stretch in the back of the hamstring. Being comfortable with the discomfort, as they say. And slowly we'll start to bring ourselves back up. And we'll bring the foot back um, into that low lunge position. And gently we'll bring the knee back to the ground, coming into tabletop pose. And we'll take a moment once again to check our alignment here. Uh, back is one long straight line from the crown of the head to the tailbone. Belly button is pulled into spine. Wrists are below the shoulders, knees are below the hips. And we'll press into the hands as much as we can, spreading the fingertips wide, pressing into it here. We'll tuck the toes under and we'll raise the knees about an inch above the ground for bear pose. And then very slowly we'll start pressing our chest back towards our bent legs, coming into halfway down dog and pedaling the feet as we come into our first downward facing dog. And continue pedaling the feet as much as feels good to you. Perhaps you'd like to lift up on the toes and then press back into your heels. Just do whatever feels good to you in this first down dog. Make sure that you're spreading the fingertips wide, pressing into the hands, pressing your chest back towards your thighs.
and then slowly we'll begin walking our uh, feet together so that our big toes touch. We'll lift that right leg up high to the sky for three-legged down dog, and we're gonna cross that right ankle behind the left ankle, bringing the right foot uh, next to the left, the cross behind. And begin pressing back into those heels so you can feel the stretch in the sides of your legs here. Pressing into the hands, pressing the chest back towards the thigh. Bringing your heels as close to the ground as your body allows. So you can feel that stretch here. And slowly we'll kick that right leg up high to the sky for three-legged down dog. And we'll replace it next to the left foot. We'll kick that left leg up to the sky for three-legged down dog, making sure that we're keeping our hips square to the mat. And we'll bring the left foot behind the right, crossing it, gently bringing it down. So our feet are crossed once again. And we'll start pressing back into the heels as we press into the hands, feeling the stretch here in our legs. Bending back into the heels as much as our body allows here. And we'll bring that left leg up high to the sky and set that left foot down next to the right. And we'll bring that right leg up high to the sky for three-legged down dog. And once again, we'll cross the right foot, we'll cross the right ankle behind the left, bringing our toes to the ground, pressing into the stretch here, pressing our heels down to the ground as much as we can, seeing if we can deepen the stretch a little more on the second time. Pressing into the hands, pressing our chest back towards our thighs. And slowly we'll kick that right leg back up to the sky. Bring the right foot back down next to the left. Once again, pressing that left leg up high for three-legged down dog. Crossing the left ankle behind the right, bringing the toes down to the mat. As we press ourselves back, pressing our heels towards the mat here, enjoying that stretch, maybe trying to get to stretch a little deeper on the second time around. Pressing into the hands, pressing into the heels. And slowly we'll lift that left leg up high to the sky. We'll place our foot back down on the ground. We'll uh, open up our feet a little wider so they're wider than hip distance apart. And slowly we'll begin walking our hands back towards our feet to the back of the mat, coming into a forward fold here. And pressing our hands into our shins, we're going to lift ourselves up halfway with a long, flat back and bending back into this forward fold. Now we're gonna come into garland pose, which is a squat, so go ahead and lower your hips down. I'm gonna turn so you can see what I'm doing. So we're gonna lower our hips down. We wanna make sure that our, our heels are down on the ground, so if you have to stay up a little higher, that's fine. If it's uncomfortable for you to do this, you're welcome to place a block or books or anything underneath your bottom to make this pose a little more comfortable. Our hands are in prayer, we're pressing our hands together. We're pressing our arms out into our thighs and we're sitting up nice and tall, lifting up through the crowns of our head here. And our right hand is gonna come down to the right side of the mat. Our left arm is gonna extend up as we twist over to the left, looking up. And you're welcome to stay here. If you'd like to bind, you can bring that right hand behind your back, bring the left hand behind your back and try and reach those left fingertips to the right. If they don't make it all the way, you're welcome to hold on to your shirt so that you can get some tension between both arms. Making sure that you're keeping your body open and lifted here, looking up to the left. If you're bound, go ahead and open your arms back up. Bring your hands back to prayer. Take
take a moment to make sure that you're sitting yourself up nice and tall here. Place your left hand down on the mat. Open your right arm up to the sky, keeping your chest open and lifted, looking up to the right. And if you'd like to bind, once again, bring that left arm behind your foot, behind your back. Bring that right arm behind your back as well. Clasping the hands together if you can. If not, grabbing onto your shirt to, to pull it together to feel tension. And looking up to the right. Keeping our bodies open and lifted here. If you're bound, go ahead and release your hands. Bring your hands back to prayer here. Go back to where you guys are on your mat. And you're going to bring your hands to the ground and heel toe your feet in as you lift yourself up to forward fold once again. And slowly you're going to begin walking your hands forward onto your mat until you come to plank pose. And go ahead and lower your knees down onto your mat here. Making sure that you're keeping a straight line from the crown of your head to your tailbone. And your knees are down, you're going to gently bring your chest towards the ground and your chin until you come straight onto your stomach here. And we're going to bring our arms out to a T. And we're going to roll over on, we're going to bring the left hand underneath our left shoulder and we're going to begin we're going to press into that left hand as we begin rolling our body over onto the right side that right arm is out to a T so we're feeling a stretch in that right shoulder here if you'd like a little bit more you can bring that left foot bottom to the ground here Should be feeling that stretch in the shoulder, that right shoulder. And gently we'll begin rolling ourselves back down, extending that left arm out long this time to a T, bringing that right hand underneath the right shoulder. Um, rolling ourselves over onto the left side so we can feel that stretch on the left shoulder, maybe bringing our right leg, our right foot to the ground behind that left leg for a little bit more, pressing into that right hand here so we can feel that stretch in the left shoulder. Gently, we're going to begin rolling back onto our bellies here. Bring our hands underneath us, and you can lift yourself up. Um, your hands should be back down by your rib cage. Uh, feet bottoms or feet, the tops of your feet pressed into the mat, and slowly begin lifting yourself up. You can come to a baby cobra, which is no weight in your hands. You can press your hands into the mat, coming into king cobra. Or you can even lift the hips, lifting the knees, coming into downward or up dog. And then slowly you're going to flip the feet, coming into downward facing dog here. Pressing your hips up towards the sky, pressing into the hands, pressing your chest back towards your thighs. And very slowly with your feet, um, 
with your legs as straight as long as you can. You're going to begin tiptoeing your feet up towards the top of the mat with straight legs. Coming into forward fold on the top of the mat here. Once again, we'll, or we'll press the hands into the shins, coming into halfway lift, lifting our backs up so that we have a long straight spine from the crown of the head to the tailbone. And bending back into that forward fold. We'll place our hands on our hips and we'll raise our chest, raise our chin, raise our elbows, coming up to the flat back here. Inhale, arms reach up. And as we exhale, we'll come into a little back bend, lifting our sternum towards the sky, pulling our belly button into our spine, tucking our chin back, and we can bring our shoulder blades together, coming into cactus back bend here. And once again, arms will reach up towards the sky. As we exhale, we'll swan dive down with a flat back, coming into that forward fold. Hands press into the shins for halfway lift. Forward fold. And we will step the right foot back, coming into low lunge here. Hands are framing that left foot. We'll pivot the right foot so it's parallel to the short edge of the mat. And we'll cartwheel our arms up and open, coming into warrior two. Making sure to check our alignment here in Warrior Two. making sure that we're pressing equally into both legs. We're rotating the thighs outwards, like we're trying to press ourselves up against the wall behind us. Our tailbone is tucked in, our belly button is pulled into our spine. Shoulders roll back and down, torso is straight up and down in this Warrior Two position here. Bending into that left knee as much as we can. And we'll flip the left palm, bring the right arm down as we come into reverse warrior here, extending that left arm up and over our ears, reaching out through the, the left fingertips here, getting as much length as we can, feeling the stretch in the, our sides. And we'll cartwheel the hands back open to warrior two. And we will straighten that left leg, pivoting that left foot so it's parallel to the short edge of the mat. Coming into star pose here, we're gonna clasp our hands over our heads and press our palms up towards the ceiling. Pressing our palms up towards the ceiling as much as we can, reaching our arms up. We're gonna start bending over to the left here. So we can feel that stretch in our side body. And slowly we'll come back to center, still pressing up through the palms, and we'll start bending over to the right. Feeling that stretch on our other side. And slowly we'll lift ourselves back up to star. We'll pivot the right toes so they're parallel to the long edge of the mat. Slowly bringing ourselves back into that warrior two position here. Maybe bending a little more deeply into it if we can, still keeping those legs nice and strong. And we'll reverse our warrior one more time. And we'll cartwheel our hands down to frame that front foot coming back into low lunge. Stepping that right foot forward, coming into forward fold. Halfway lift, forward fold, and reverse swan diving up with a flat back here. Taking an inhale, exhaling our hands to prayer. Once more, inhaling up. This time on our exhale, we're gonna come into that back bend, pulling our belly button into spine, uh, lifting our sternum towards the sky, tucking our chin back, bringing our shoulder blades together for cactus back. And inhale, arms reach up. This time on our exhale, we'll swan dive down with a flat back. Coming into forward fold. 
Pressing our hands into our shins for halfway lift. Exhaling down to forward fold. We'll plant the hands and step the left foot back for a low lunge. Coming into low lunge here. We'll pivot that left foot so it's parallel to the short edge of the mat as we cartwheel our hands up coming into warrior two on the opposite side. Once again, pressing equally into both legs, rotating our thighs back like we're trying to press ourselves against the wall behind us. Tucking our tailbone in, belly button is pulled to the spine, torso is straight up and down. Shoulders roll back and down. Gaze is over those right fingertips. We'll flip the right palm and reverse our warrior here. So that left, left arm travels down the left leg, extending out long through those right fingertips, keeping your chest open and lifted here. We're reaching out as much as you can, getting the most out of this thigh stretch. And we'll cartwheel our hands back up to warrior two. Bringing our arms up, pivoting that right foot so it's parallel to the short edge of the mat, coming into star pose once again. Our hands will clasp behind our back. If you're able to, Clasp them the way you usually don't clasp them. So go ahead and clasp your hands and then clasp them again so that it feels awkward. And we'll try and bring our, our hands so that they're not resting on our hips, so that they're lifted up. And slowly we're gonna begin folding forward with a flat back, coming down, extending those knuckles up above our heads like we're trying to touch them down to the ground in front of our head, coming into a wide-legged forward fold here. Bringing those knuckles down towards the ground as far as we can. If it's hurting your shoulders, bring your, bring your hands a little bit closer to your glutes. If you don't have any shoulder issues, bring them up over your head. And slowly begin lifting yourself back up, bending in the knees if you need to, to bring yourself back up to standing. Go ahead and release your arms. We'll bring your arms out to a T. We'll pivot that right foot so that it's parallel to the long edge of the mat. And we'll start bending into that right leg, coming back into warrior two. Maybe dropping ourselves a little deeper into this warrior two, but remembering our alignment, making sure that we're aligned well. Go ahead and flip the right palm and reverse your warrior here. And we'll bring our arms out to warrior two, cartwheel our hands down to frame that right front foot. Step the left foot in, coming into a forward fold. Halfway lift, forward fold. And slowly, very slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, you'll roll yourselves up. Stacking your vertebrae on top of each other until you come all the way up to standing. And then roll your, your head comes up last. And then roll your shoulders back and down here. We're going to come into a little balance. So we're going to set ourselves up. For balance here. We're going to set ourselves up in the perfect Tadasana position. So big toes are touching, heels are slightly apart, kneecaps are pulled up, thighs are pulled up, tailbone is tucked, belly button is pulled into spine, shoulders roll back and down, palms face forward, lifting up, extending through the crown of the head, chin is tucked back. Close your eyes here. Just think about how your body is set. Slowly, you can begin opening your eyes. We're going to balance on the left leg first, so go ahead and lift those left toes up. Feel your left foot pressing into all four corners of the mat, or all, all four corners of your foot pressing into the mat, and then drop the left toes. Come up on the right toes. You can bring your arms up. And very slowly, we're going to bring our right knee up towards our chest. 
you're going to bring the left hand outside of the right knee and twist yourself over to the right, bringing your right arm back, twisting your torso to the right here. Lifting up through the crown of the head, keeping yourself nice and tall. And slowly bring your arms back to center, center your torso. And you're going to bring your right knee out to the right. And then you're going to place your right knee either tented on the ground, on your calf, or on your thigh coming into tree pose here. You can place your foot anywhere as long as it's not pressing against your knee. You're welcome to keep your arms above your head. You can bring your fingertips to touch. You can bring your fingertips to prayer. You can bring your arms to a T. Do whatever feels good to you here in this tree pose. And then slowly you're gonna bring that right knee back to center. Bring the hands down by your sides or place that right foot down on the ground. You can give your legs a little shake here. And we're going to set ourselves up. In so big toes are touching, heels are slightly apart, kneecaps are pulled up, thighs are pulled up, tailbone is tucked, belly button is pulled into spine, torso is straight up and down, lifting up through the crown of the head, shoulders roll back and down, palms face forward. Go ahead and close your eyes and breathe into this position for a moment. and open your eyes. We're going to ground into the right foot this time, so lift up your right toes. Feel all four corners of your right foot pressing into the mat, and then slowly drop your right toes down. Arms will reach up, and we'll begin lifting that left leg up towards our chest here. We'll start twisting over to the left as we place our right hand outside of that right knee, or that left knee, Twisting over to the left, left arm is back. Keeping ourselves nice and lifted here. Lifting up through the crown of the head, extending the spine. We'll center ourselves. And we'll bring that left knee out towards the left. You can bring that left foot bottom even to the ground if you need to, to your calf or to your thigh. Once again, anywhere but on your kneecap, coming into tree pose here. Pressing that left foot against your right leg. Bringing your hands into whatever variation you choose. Whatever feels best to you in this tree pose, whatever helps you most with balance. And we'll bring that left knee back to center. Slowly replace that left foot down on the ground. You can bring your arms down, give them a little shake here. And we will reach back up. Exhale, swan diving down to that forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. We'll bring our knees down to the mat, coming into tabletop position. <clears throat> And then slowly we'll come back to a seated position. Scooting yourself up on the bed if you need to so there's room to lie down behind you. And we'll extend our legs out long. Feet are flexed here. We'll bring the right knee in towards the chest. We'll wrap, or yeah, the right foot bottom is down on the ground. The right knee is in towards our chest. We'll wrap the left arm over that right knee, right arm goes up and places behind us on the mat. So we're twisting over to the right, but we're lifting ourselves up nice and tall. Um, let me turn around so you can see me a little better. We're lifting ourselves up nice and tall through the crown of the head here. 
flexing that left foot. We will turn our torsos back towards our legs. We will take our left hand and grab the outside edge of that right foot. We'll bring that right arm up behind us and we will kick that right foot out. So we're coming into a twist here. Left hand is on the outside edge of that right foot. Right arm is behind us. We're sitting up nice and tall here. Extending through the crown of the head, long flat back. And we'll bring that right knee in towards our chest. We'll cross the right arm up and over the left, grabbing the inside edge of the right foot. Sitting up nice and tall. Once again, we'll start extending that right foot out. Getting a stretch here. to our groin, the right, the right knee is brought into our chest. Well, I'm sorry, the left knee is brought into our chest. The left foot bottom is on the ground. Flexing into that right foot. We'll wrap the right arm over the left leg. Left arm extends up and places back behind us to deepen this twist here. Sitting up nice and tall, lifting up through the crown of the head. So back towards our legs. We'll use that right hand to grab the outside edge of the left foot. We'll bring the left arm back behind us. We'll kick that left foot out. Extend that left hand to the back as we try and straighten that left leg here. Coming into a twist. Once again, lifting up through the crown of the head, keeping that back nice and lifted, nice and long. begin bending that left knee as we center our torso, crossing the left hand over the right, grabbing the inside edge of the left foot with the left hand. We'll sit up nice and tall as we begin to extend that left leg out long. Shake out your legs a little bit. We'll reach our arms up to the sky, flex your feet, and we'll do one Pilates roll down. So stacking yourself up nice and tall. Slowly, you're gonna begin making a C curve with your spine, howling out your belly, bringing your uh, belly button into your spine, and slowly begin rolling yourself down, vertebrae by vertebrae, until you come flat back on the mat. And we'll bend the knees, bringing the feet bottoms towards the sky, lifting our feet up. You can either take yogi toe hold or grab the outside edges of your feet, coming into happy baby here. Making sure you're flexing the feet hard, like you're pressing them towards the ceiling. You're bringing the knees in towards your chest or towards your armpits. Tailbone is down on the ground. If you'd like to rock back and forth a little bit, you're welcome to. Massage the spine. You'd like to straighten one leg and then the other. Maybe both legs. Just do whatever feels good to your body here in this happy baby pose. Give a moment to enjoy this. And then slowly we'll release our hands down to the mats by our side. We'll stretch our legs up long. Point and flex the feet a few times. 
Then we'll point the right leg as you gently draw it down to the right corner of the mat. We'll bring the left foot down towards the left corner of the mat. We'll roll our shoulder blades back and under as we come into Shavasana pose here. Closing our eyes, relaxing into the mat. Taking a moment to be thankful for everything that our bodies have done for us. Taking a moment to be thankful that we took this time out for ourselves. If you set an intention for your practice, I invite you to come back to that intention now. If you dedicated your practice to someone, welcome to think about them as well. And then just allow your body You're welcome to stay in Shavasana as long as you'd like. I wish you health and happiness. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today. Namaste.